Oh, hey, America. I didn't see you there. See you there. <laughs> Viewership has been exploding as of late. And I love and cherish every one of you. Now, how about this fancy fellow to the right of me who has a gooey handful of mystery? <laughs> My god, man. Your aesthetic is so viscous. This here is one true American hero. He is one Jamwell Logburn, PhD, political pundit for the unheard voices of an incoherent America, author of numerous works, each more erratic than the last, but still best-selling in its own right. He is also a manipulator of all things language. I'm talking podcast and public speaking. The written word, and uh, uh, sometimes even sign language. I'm not sure. Uh, he is the slipperiest man online. Now, can we all give him a big symbolic welcome, everyone? Hi. So, Jam Will. You occupy a niche corner of the internet that is uh, divisive politics. Now I'll admit it, I was uh, not too big a fan at first. Um, more honestly, if I may, I was repulsed by you, but I quickly changed my tune as I heard you talk about the issues. Prolific, eloquent, skeptical, ambiguous, gelatinous, glazed in his own fervor. And I found that these words describe not only your works, but you as a man. So, how exactly did you fall into this uh, position of political authority? Well, it was quite literally fall, or uh, maybe one of the other seasons. But I, I do recall leaves uh, either changing or maintaining their color. Uh, foxes sauntered through the, the meadow singing their Songs of acquiescent protest to a indecisive earth whose textured and verdant flesh was pulsing heavily in a cosmic way. And that's exactly when I happened upon creating and distributing my political ideas on my website and various social medias. In fact, my website actually has a portal. Uh, when I first saw you online, uh, I thought to myself, can this guy really be real? How can one man be so indefinite? Would you care to comment on that? 
Uh, I, have, I cannot comment on that. I can see why. Now, corporate influence is a recurring theme throughout your works. Uh, do you care to explain this interest further? I believe that corporations are uh, an inextricable and deeply valuable part of society, and they must be surgically removed. Now, I have spoken to medical doctors about this, and they have all told me the same thing. We're going to need a larger operating table. So, currently through my website, godjamit.com, upon request to my viewers, I am receiving monetary donations for that. Uh, that being the larger operating table. So, you often refer to yourself uh, on occasion as a vacillator? Yes, yes. Do you, do you know what that word means? Well, I'll save you some uh, legal stress and not mention the brand name, but uh, let's just say that I apply ample quantities of lubricant to myself when I speak or write uh, as a form of self-lubrication. Logically, and, uh, and uh, definitively so. It allows language to bypass any epidermal friction. It's also a form of evasion. You know, you can't catch what you can't grasp. Innovative, yet articulate. You are truly exemplary, Jamwell. I don't know what the word means, my dear boy. Paul, there are entities at work here that you can't understand. They may have gotten to you already. Advertisements, merchandise, vertical integration. They pursue me relentlessly. Moderates in the extreme, extremists in moderation, they beset me on all sides. Are you familiar with war? The abstract war with its imperceptible casualties and non-linear timeline? I know that there's tensions between Europe and the Middle East. Those corporations that you speak of are nothing more than sleight of hand. It's up to you to decide whether you're the magician or the audience. And now you can make a stand to make a tax-free monetary donation exclusively through my website. Hey everybody, how about a little game? I think I just heard a sea full of yeses from the audience. Uh, now, Nibble will come out here and explain the rules of the game while Jamwell and I reorient ourselves.
So, Nibble, where is your husband? My husband is precisely where he needs to be, darling. Six feet under God's green grass, marinating in soil. What was the weapon and methodology of the murder? Well, to answer your first question, a leg. To answer your second question, I suppose, torture and genital mutilation. I castrated the bastard with the femur bone of his mistress's right leg. I grinded it down real good to a nice point and it was still kind of dull, but as we all know now, it got the job done. <laughs> he said her legs went all the way up and I suppose I found where one of them didn't go up no more. You do realize you're facing a life sentence for the murder of your husband, plus an additional 40 years for turning that poor woman into a partial paraplegic. Some people are even talking about the chair. Sweetheart, I'm of the opinion that if a woman devotes and subjects herself to a man under the biblical covenant of marriage in a church of God, then she has the right to deal with infidelity in a biblical manner. And if they want to send 12,000 volts of electricity dancing through my body for loving my husband, then I say let them. Is there anything you'd like to let America know before your sentencing today? Ladies, invest in a grindstone. I hope they roast you. <coughs> you heard it here first on Nibble News Channel where your dreams are my reality. Next time, tune in to hear about the long-term effects of aphrodisiacs and amphetamines in the field of animal husbandry. I've been your host, Nibble and Scooped. Okay. So now we know the rules to the game, the path of enlightenment. Uh, now, Jamwell, do you have any, uh, do you have any experience with meditation? Everything I write or say is uh, a form of societal meditation. Now, for larger operating tables, uh, donations can be made exclusively okay, to my Okay, so website. you you know the rules. All right. So the first one to reach enlightenment uh, wins. Okay, so whenever we're ready, uh, Nibble, my dear and beloved producer, would you count us down? Sure, Powell. Three, two, one. there. <sighs> Gee whiz. I was right on the edge myself, but uh, I guess my guests always know how to play the game. <laughs> so, uh, any last words, Jam, my man? Powell, I don't have any corporate interests or, or debts, but if I did, um, you know, tax-free monetary donations can be made uh, exclusively at my website, uh, goddammit.com, um, and it's for doctors, please, okay? I need this. <sighs> Wise words from a modern prophet. You can check out his new podcast. I, I, no, I, I, I can't hear you. Could, can you repeat? I can't hear you. Can you repeat that? With Jamwell Logburn, um, anywhere that you get your audio listenings. 
And uh, be sure to check out his new book, uh, Syntheticorp, uh, Creations of a Modern Boogeyman. Uh, be sure to look for it at your local library. I mean, um, be sure to look for the book at your local commercial bookstore. Um, Jamwell here has an exclusive deal that he is contractually obliged to. Um, I've been your host, uh, Paul Mastronimo. I love you. Yeah. You know who you are. Now you can feel it.